Alright guys, in my last video there was a lot of comments about putting this bridge or taking the bridge out and so on and so forth. Well, I decided that I wanted the bridge there because the prototype shows that it's there. I did make some modifications uh, to how I'm going to do the roadway and also I went ahead and built the bridge. And this is the bridge that's going to be going in there. Uh, it's as close as I can get with the material that I have. Um, anyhow, if you guys want to see how I got to this point and what I did to solve the problem of how this bridge is going to sit in there, uh, stay tuned and we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, this wasn't my original plan for this br uh, road bridge here um, in front of Little, uh, Little Hell Canyon Bridge. Um, I've had a lot of comments on what I should do. Uh, some people say don't put it in. Some people say put tunnels at each end. Uh, unfortunately, the P-Vine does not have any tunnels. So, um, what I'm going to do is uh, rearrange it a bit. And I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to put this in here like this. And instead of going nowhere into the mountains, I'm going to have it going nowhere out to the edge of the uh, at the edge of the layout. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm starting to build a uh, the box girder bridge for here, it's going to be one span that's going to go from about here to about here. Um, there'll be abutments on both sides and there'll still be a pylon in the center. Anyhow, let's get down to the workbench and let me show you what I'm up to on, on the bridge as far as the bridge is concerned. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alright guys, since I uh, changed the configuration of the road that I'm going to be putting in the uh, Little Hell Canyon area, um, I decided to do the bridge differently also. Originally, I was going to do two of these like this, but now I am going to do one long one. This winds up to be 140 feet long. <clears throat> the materials I'm going to use are complements of Ralph Greenwood and Roy Hardwick. Uh, number 272 I-beam and number 274 I-beam. The 274 will be the main uh, struts and and also the uprights and then the diags these guys here will be with the uh, 272 um, <coughs> eye beams anyhow as you can see I've already started this uh, I got all my squares in place and uh, I'm using my glass as the, the base for my square and I am 100% sure that the glass is square so I put this one down and I put this one down here because it's long enough for me to do this. Um, I already installed the first and last one and each one of these are going to be at 20 foot intervals. So uh, I used my chopper to chop these down. These are 10 foot high. I don't know if you guys can see these but these are the uh, ones that go inside here like so. and. Uh, We'll just uh, continue on from where I'm at. So stay tuned and we'll get on with this. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got all my uh, uprights in there. I'm going to give it a little while to dry up and then I'll start doing my diagonal uh, bracing. 
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but this is uh, one side of the main span. I got to do two of these, and then I need to do the uh, cross members to make this bridge complete. Uh, anyhow, stand by, and we'll wait a little while for this to dry up, and then we'll get back to it. All right, guys, as you can see, I had I went ahead and cut out all my angles just to save a little bit of time on the video, uh, but they're not glued in yet, and I am going to use the uh, Plastruck Plastic Weld to do these guys. I'm going to do them right in place where they are now so I don't have to move them around anymore. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that part right now also. Alright guys, I'm going to let this dry up right now and then I'm going to take it off of the uh, square jig that I made. Um, and as you can see, I'll put this square at this end. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty much 100% square. Let me back this out a bit. So I've got a square here, a straight edge here, and a square down here. So I'm pretty confident that this part of the uh, build is, is uh, square. So. I'm going to let this dry up for a little bit. I'm going to do a second one like this. Um, and I won't show you the second one because it will be exactly the same as the first one. Uh, but when I come back, I'll have both both main spans completed. Be back in a little bit. Okay, guys. I just showed you how I was going to stop building this bridge. And let me show you uh, the first main span for this bridge. Uh, and I'll show you how it's going to look. So, this is the span I just did, which you guys watched me build. And it's going to go about here. And I'm also going to drop this down about a half inch or so. Uh, so it doesn't obstruct the uh, the uh, train bridge in the background there. Um, I love bridges. And the more bridges I can have on my layout, the better I'll like it. Anyhow, um, we'll continue on this build. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got both of the uh, span parts done. Uh, and I will admit that I made a mistake on one of them. Um, and uh, I did do the measure twice, cut once, but uh, the cut once is what went wrong. And I cut this one a little bit too short. So what I did was adapt and overcome. And I took this number 133 and I added a piece on this side and a piece on this side. <clears throat> also, I'm going to get ready now to start doing the uh, <clears throat> cross members. So in order to accomplish that, I've got, I want to use the same <clears throat> the same I-beams to go across. Let's see, I don't know if you can be able to see that. To go across this way. Well, let me show you here. Maybe you can see it better. <clears throat> so when they go across that way, again, there's very, very little gluing surface there. And if I should put it straight onto the I-beam here, it would be very little gluing space. So what I did there was I added a piece of the um, <clears throat> 134 inside the channel of the I-beam. So now when I put these guys on, they'll have a solid place to get uh, adhered to. <clears throat> I also marked... I also marked... Um, which side is going to be down. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a little dot right there. And the same thing on the other one. So that's going to be the downside. Now. To accomplish getting my I-beams. Straight and um, uh, parallel and everything like that. Guess what? I had to make another jig. So. This is the jig I made. And what happens is. I put one of these guys in here up against this piece and against this piece here and I have my lines drawn out where my beams got to go and this way I can put it in here and glue it to that until I get them all done and I'm going to have to flip it around on this side because this was the only scrap that I had and I didn't want to you know, go out and buy some wood just to do this. But anyhow, when I get to this point, I'll just flip it around and do the other side. Uh, anyhow, I guess we'll get started with that process and see how that goes. So, stay tuned and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. 
All right, guys, I'm about ready to start putting the uh, bottom cross numbers in here. And as you can see, I marked them all off and, uh, with the uh, uprights on the uh, suspension part. I put a piece of tape here, sticky side out. So when I start putting these guys in there, I put it up here and glue it and then put it there and it'll hold it in place while the glue dries. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to build this just as you see it in the vertical uh, position. Um, and let's see how it goes. So stay tuned and we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, <clears throat> all my cross members are secured right now and I went ahead and cut, uh, cut the uh, angles in here just to save time uh, on the video. Um, but anyhow, <clears throat> I'll do this whole complete section with all the cross, cross members and the uh, supporting angles and then I'll flip it around and do the other side and then that should make it <clears throat> easy when I go to put this side on to just glue it in place. And uh, I'll have three quarters of the bridge done. Anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue these in and I uh, will be right back. Alright guys, all of this section is totally secured now, <clears throat> so now my next move is to start putting my angles that go from one side of the uh, span down to the other side and then vice versa on this one and so on and so forth down the line. <clears throat> Once I get those in, then I'll put this guy on and do the same exact thing <clears throat> up here with the cross bracing going the opposite way. <clears throat> you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, I'm not an architect or a carpenter or draftsman or anything like that. But uh, this project is actually letting me know that I still have a few working brain cells because you really have to think about how you got to put this guy together. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and do these guys off camera and then we'll I'll put this guy on and then we'll continue from there. Anyhow, uh, we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, what I'm about to show you is uh, way different from the last clip I did. So, um, this is my bridge for Little Hell Canyon Roadway. Nice. Came out really good. Look down there, all you see is straight X's. Look up here, and all you see is straight X's. All my supports are in. And, to top it all off, it's square. Yay! Anyhow, uh, bad news is you guys don't get to see the finished product after it's painted and all that until major changes number 35. Of course, that's where I'll be working on the area where this bridge is going to be sitting. I'll be working on the roadway and all that kind of stuff. And I told you guys that I made a change and that change is what I'm going to be doing. Anyhow, uh, I guess that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed it. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951 out.